Welcome to Tri-City Community TV. I'm Brad Nickerson, and today I'm here with Tracy Schaefer, the producer of the Frantic Breeze, <laughs> the Frantic Breeze <laughs> Fast Film Competition. I'll say it slowly one more time. The producer of the Frantic Breeze Fast Film Competition. Great naming. Just make it hard for everybody. Awesome. That's, well, we want it to be a challenge. Yes, it's and a challenge. And this is a competition. That's so. right. It's a competition to challenge. So if I've got this right, what it is is a film competition for people in the Tri-Cities coming from out of Port Moody. Now I'm answering all your questions. So maybe you can tell me a little bit about this whole well, thing. You're doing such a good job. I know. <laughs> I know. See, I'm a quick study, right? Oh, you're awesome. Yeah. Um, this is the Frantic Breeze Fast Film Competition. Okay. It's fully supported by the Port Moody City Council. And Port Moody what City Council is, mm -hmm. is supporting this. Supporting Good. it. It's, awesome. uh, it is, uh, it's sponsored by the um, Arts and Culture Committee of Port Moody. Okay. And what the goal here is, is to kind of bring the artists out. We, we don't get to see many film artists from Port Moody, but so many film artists live in Port Moody. Right. So we envision this contest to be a way of sort of bringing people out Okay. And, and and letting and letting the people of Port Moody see the talent that's already here. All right. And now I said earlier that it's for the Tri Cities, Ben. But you've mentioned Port Moody, I think, six times in that little thing. <laughs> Sorry, um, I no, love my city. So, so it's, <laughs> and, and that's good, and that's awesome. Um, is it for Port Moody, or is all the Tri Cities open well, to all of them? It's actually available to anyone in the Lower Mainland. Oh, okay. So basically, it's a fast film competition, and what it is is. People are going to show up on the first day of the competition, sure. which is August 29th. Okay. And they'll receive a package of three mystery elements. Right. And they will have to incorporate those mystery elements into a brand new film. So they have to write and produce and upload a film in 72 hours. Okay. And what's, what's, it's a contest, so what's the prize? The prize is, top prize is $500. $500. Yes. Second okay. prize is $350. All right. And we have a prize for best use of Port Moody. So that means we want people to shoot in the city of Port Moody. Okay. And we have a youth prize for $100. A youth prize, so you have of a hundred dollars for. So you you want youth to try this as well? Oh yeah, we want to encourage young people because film can't but, exist without new people coming in and adding their art. They're at a bit of a disadvantage, aren't they? They don't have cameras and stuff. Well, you know what? I I have a lot of experience. I used to story produce, so I have a lot yeah. of experience with this, and I'm happy to mentor people. I have a, a Gmail account that I think we can put up on yeah. your screen later, and. I will always answer questions to help anyone who I'm, I'm just kidding you. Like uh, what I was trying to draw out of you is what do they have to have expensive equipment or can they just use an iPhone? Like, can they do something like that? They can use an iPhone. Our one concern will be sound. So you okay. just, uh, you know what, as a filmmaker, yeah. if you're aware of sound yeah. and you're aware, um, you just need to shoot really intimate scenes. Right. And it should be okay. We are not asking for professional equipment. Right. We're not even, you can shoot during the day. You yeah. don't even need to have lights. Sure. You just, it's all about story. Yeah, I got to imagine it would be about that. And yeah. that could be quite cool. I'm intrigued by the whole idea of the, the little kits that you're going to give people. <laughs> um, are those, like, is everybody going to get the same kit or are they going to be no, all sorts of different things? No, 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 no. And the reason why we want uh, people to come is that some of them are going to be tactile. So sometimes with these contests, okay. everyone gets the same themes and then right. they write. It's a mystery theme, but everyone writes the same theme. But right. everyone's going to have a slightly different package. Right. And hopefully we're, everyone's going to have uh, something from a local artisan that they have to use within the film. Oh. And we really just want to show people how beautiful Port Moody is. Right. And that's what and, this And it sounds is. like it, when it's from a local artisan, you're also showing off some of the, some of the skills or some of the product of Port Moody. Yeah. Right. That's cool. Because we are cool. city of the arts. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. filmmaking incorporates so many different elements of art, and we want that yeah. in this contest. Yeah, and so um, I'm going to go off in a little area that I'm interested in because I think I, I heard that you're a filmmaker. Are you? Are you working the in the film industry? I did. I am currently a mother, <laughs> so a very, of young children. Wait a children, second. I so got to work that out. Is that like <laughs> what, those two things are exclusive? It's harder to be in the film industry Is or it? in broadcasting when you have young children. Sure. So I made a decision. I have a child with uh, developmental issues, so I made okay. a decision to sort of step out of the professional area and focus and do better at focusing on my children for now. And then when things change, perhaps I'll go back. So but. you you've decided with your child to step out of 
a very fast-paced, busy world of doing things professionally into a very fast-paced world of volunteerism for your community. Yeah. Well that... done. Good choices. Oh, no, good choices. I messed up. What did I do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But that's good. That's an awesome thing that you're doing. Well, uh, and I, and yeah. I commend you. I, um, as we were speaking a little bit earlier, I'm an artist. And um, uh, I appreciate very much when people decide to bring out the arts in people and give provide opportunities for people to shine. And that sounds like that sounds like what this is. Um, I'm interested. Do, who, who, like, who are your partners? Who are your partners well, in this whole thing? Well, we were very lucky. From the very beginning, um, Lisa DeRue, who mm -hmm. owns the Tri-Cities Film Studios okay. in Coquitlam, she heard that we were, were planning to do a contest, and she called up during one of our open meetings with the Port Moody City Council and said, I want to support you. Mm -hmm. She's been on board from the very beginning, and so the Tri-City Film Studios is one of our major sponsors. Okay. And um, she's also a judge. Oh, okay. And she is like she sentences people to prison. No, is she's a judge for us. Okay. I don't know oh, what she does in her free time. Film. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but she's also supporting, or she's sponsoring the um, Best Actor Award as well. Right. Okay. For a hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, kind of cool. So, so yeah. it, it never occurred to me. Like it, so, I'm thinking behind the film, but that's right. You people have an opportunity to act in these things as well. Yeah, yeah. and and yeah. you can't. You can't just like you can't have a talk show without two people talking. Yeah. So you pull. So people who are going to join this. Sorry, we're a little bit off from your spot from your partners in this. But people who are going to put these um, projects together need to to not only gather their their crew to do the filming, mm -hmm. but they also have to put together the their stars of the show and their cast and yeah. things like as well. And and That's a cool. really Great a really experience. good film is very collabor collaborative. So what right. you would have is people who are actors might also be the writers. Right. And people who are directing might also be the camera. Right. So switching it, roles yeah. at different times. You could do something like That's this with four cool. people. Yeah. And so, so as you're saying that, I start asking questions in my head. How, how are you going to get the? So you, you, and you kind of said that you are willing for people who haven't got experience, um, youth, right? Mm -hmm. There's an opportunity for them to, um, to interact with you to find out how to do this. Definitely. But I'm going to ask one of the questions so that maybe people who are watching this will have an idea of what to do. Um, I'm going to ask you about how they're going to put it together and edit it. Do they need to shoot it all in one thing, or is there some opportunities for editing and s cutting things out and well, stuff like that? Well, do you know what? You can do one shot. It's actually more difficult. Hmm. And it can be done. There's a lot of um, a lot of ways to do it, but you would have to practice and rehearse ahead of time. Very, So it's actually easier to do smaller shots. Yeah. But you could probably do a four to seven minute film, which is what this has to be. Okay. And you could get it down to the bare minimum of, say, let's say 10 shots. Right. What you might want to do, if you want it to look like, for example, a YouTube video, which mm -hmm. you can do, mm -hmm. you can just sort of do long shots and then maybe do a tiny bit of something we call coverage, which would be to make sure that a little bit of the previous shot is covered in a different shot and make it an easy edit. Okay. And you can use your iMovie if you have an, an Apple or I, I don't know what a PC version would be, but you don't have to have fancy editing equipment. Sure. You can use the stuff on your computer. Something. So you're saying that this is a pretty accessible thing for people to do. That's really cool. Uh, it, it sounds fun. Now, you did mention that you already have a sponsor that's working with you. Um, any opportunity for people to sponsor prizes or something if they wanted to? Yes, and specifically, um, I'm also looking for mentors for youth. Okay. So if anyone knows of an organization that can help someone who wants to make a film with equipment, right? You know, we could. Talk, I would love to talk to anyone like that. Um, we have many different kinds of prizes that we right. can definitely highlight uh, any company. And okay. I'd be happy to uh, add additional sponsors, of okay. course, yes. So how would they get a hold of you to do something like that? Oh, I, you can uh, get a hold of me on my Gmail account, and let's see if I can remember what it is. Just no, a that's moment. Okay. That's okay. It's franticbreezefilmpomo at gmail.com. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we'll cut it in as well on the, <laughs> on this, on the, somewhere on this show as we go ahead. That would be as awesome. It's it might be happening right now. Uh, <laughs> but, okay, so... This, Tracy, this sounds really exciting, and I want to say thank you very much for coming and telling us about that. I am thrilled to hear um, 
about the expansion of arts and things like that in the in the Tri Cities, and it's fabulous that you're expanding it to um, so many people in this area. I I really just want to see good films. That's good. And I would love the people of Port Moody to be able to see filmmakers making them. So. I really am excited to see what we can have. Okay, thank you so much. I'm Brad Nickerson. I've been here with Tracy Schaefer from the Frantic Breeze Fast Film Competition. And we're here for Tri-City Community TV. Thank you very much. <music>